classes there are four types of storage classes and they are auto register static and extern first let's discuss about auto storage class in c auto storage class they are also called as automatic variables and they are the default storage class of all local variables and an auto variable cannot be declared globally some of the properties of auto storage classes are the default initial value of auto variable is garbage let's see an example program in this program there are three variables an integer variable i and character variable c a float variable f all these three variables will be considered as an auto variable since it is declared locally this statement will print three garbage values so the output is garbage garbage and garbage because all the locally declared variables will be considered as auto variables and the default initial values of all the local variables is garbage now let us compile this program and check the output there is no compilation error and if we run this program we'll have three garbage values visibility of auto variable is within the block where it has been declared let's see an example program in this program we have two integer variable a with different values 10 and 20 the visibility of this variable a is within the entire function that is within the entire main function whereas the visibility of the second variable a is within this open and closing curly braces so this print of statement will print the value as 20 whereas the second print of statement will print the value as 10 it will not print the value 20 because the scope of this variable is within this portion so the output is 20 and 10 that is if variable a is declared inside inner block its visibility is only within that block and if we compile this program it doesn't have any compilation error and we'll run this program to get output as 20 10 we'll compile this program by commenting the statement that is we have one compilation error like undefined symbol a because the scope is limited only within this portion and we'll come in this line now we'll not have any compilation error we'll get the output as 10 10 what property is scope of auto variable is within the block where it has been declared let's see an example program in this program we have two variables i and a the visibility of i is within the entire block that is within the entire function whereas the visibility of a is only within the for loop int a equal to 20 print of percentage d a will print the value 20 a plus plus will increment the value of 20 to 21 so in memory the value of a is 21 so the iteration begins the value of i will be 1 now it will check for the condition if the condition is true the loop will be continued so it will print the value as 20 again and again because the value is reinitialized once the control gets inside the loop so the output is 20 20 20 20 20 because the condition starts at 0 and it ends at 3 so totally the loop is iterated four times the variable declared inside the for loop block has scope only within that block after the first iteration variable a becomes dead and it loses its incremented value in second iteration a is again declared and initialized and it continues suppose if the print of percentage d a is given outside this closing braces it will be an error because the scope of this a is only within this for loop if this program is compiled there is no compilation error it will give the output as 20 20 20 and 20 the variable initializes each time an auto variable gets memory at run time now let's discuss about register storage class a register storage class is very similar to auto storage class except one important property all register variable in c is stored in cpu 
not in the memory. Some important points about register storage class are in the following declaration register int a that is we are requesting compiler to store variable a in CPU and the compiler will decide where to store in the variable a. The next property is a register variable execute faster than other variables because it is stored in CPU. So during the execution, compiler has no extra burden to bring the variable from memory to CPU. And the next property is CPU have limited number of register. So it's programmer responsibility to decide which variable should be declared as register variable. That is variables which are used many times should be declared as a register variable. What is, we cannot dereference register variables since it does not have any memory address. For example, in this program we have two variables. One is an integer variable which is declared to a register keyword and the another is a pointer variable p. To this pointer variable, the address of the register variable is assigned which is actually wrong because the address of register variable should not be used anywhere in the program which will always end up with the compile time error. So the output is compilation error. Percentage %u is nothing but it will print the address of the variable p. Now we will compile this program. There is an error. That is, it must take the address of memory location. Now we will make it as another variable that is normal variable s that is int s equal to 20. That is address of s is assigned to the variable p. We will come on this line. There is no compilation error. Now it is giving the output as 65524 which is nothing but address of the variable p. And the fifth property is default initial value of register variable is garbage. And another is scope and visibility of register variable is block. Now let's discuss about static keyword in C language. The keyword static is used for declaring static variables in C. This modifier is used with all data types like int, float, double, array, pointer, structure, function, etc. Some important points about static keyword are It is not default storage class of global variables. For example, Analyze the following programs and its output. In this program, integer a has been declared globally. So this printf statement will give a value as 0. So the output is 0. We will compile this program now. There is no error. If we run this program, it will give an output as 0. The property is a same static variable can be declared many times but it cannot be initialized more than once. For example, in this program a static variable i has been declared thrice whereas it is initialized only one time. So this program will not end up with the compile time error and the statement print of percentage d i will give an output as zero because it will take the value from the previous statement that is static int i. If a variable is declared as static then its default value is zero. So the output is zero. If this program is compiled there will not be any error. We will run this program now. It will give you an output as zero. Let us compile this program again by commenting the statement. It will not give any error but the output will be 25. We will initialize a value 30 to the variable i again. That is the variable i is initialized with two different values. Now it is giving an error like variable i is initialized more than once. We cannot write any assignment statement globally. For example, in this program 
a static variable i is initialized with a value 10 and a value 25 is being assigned to a variable i which is actually wrong because the assignment statement cannot be done globally. So the output is compilation error. Program is compiled. It will give compile time error because the assignment statement is given globally. The important point to be noted is assigning any value to the variable at the time of declaration is known as initialization while assigning any value to the variable not at the time of declaration is known as assignment. And the fourth property is a static variable initializes only one time in whole program. For example, in this program a static variable i is initialized with the value 10 and later it is changed to 5 and to 0 inside the for loop. This for loop will be executed 5 times but still this statement will be executed only one time because it is declared with a static keyword whereas this printf statement will be executed 5 times. During the first iteration the value of a will be initialized with 10 and will print the value as 10 and the value of a will be incremented to 11 in the memory. During the second iteration, this statement will be skipped and will print the value of a as 11 and the iteration continues and hence the output is 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. If this program is compiled, it will give an output as 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Let's compile this program by removing the keyword static. It will not give any error but at runtime it will give the output as 5 tens. If we declare a static variable locally then its visibility will be within a block where it has been declared. For example, in this program a variable a which is declared with a static keyword is declared locally and that too the scope will be within this open and closing curly braces. This printf statement will print a value 5 whereas this will not print any value whereas it will give an compile time error. Here this statement is commented so the output is 5. If this program is compiled it will give an output as 5. We will remove this comment and try compiling it again. It will give an compile time error because the scope of the variable a is only within this portion. That is undefined symbol a is a compile time error. This extern keyword in C. The keyword extern is used for declaring extern variables in C language. This modifier is used with all data types like int, float, double, array, pointer, structure, function etc. Some important points about extern keyword are it is default storage class of all global variables as well as all functions. In this example program int i is a integer variable which is declared globally and by default it is an extern variable. So this statement printf percentage d i will print the value as 0 since it is declared globally. If this program is compiled, it will give an output as 0. We will move on to the next question. Another example program. In this program, a variable i has been declared globally with a keyword extern. Whenever a variable is declared with an extern keyword, a memory will not be initialized to that particular variable. Only if the value is initialized in the same statement, a memory will be allocated. So in this program, the output will be compile time error, that is undefined symbol i. When we use extern modifier with any variables, it is only declaration, that is, a memory is not allocated for these variables. Hence, compiler is showing error as, hence, compiler is showing error as unknown symbol i. If this program is compiled, will get an error as undefined symbol i in the program. Property is to define a variable it is necessary to initialize the variables that is in this example program we have the same statement 
in addition we have a value 10 that is being assigned to the variable i so the output of this program will be 10 this program doesn't have any compilation error it will give the output as 10 property is external variables cannot be initialized locally it can be initialized only globally in this program the external variable i has been initialized locally so it will give a compilation error that is we cannot initialize external variable locally this program will give a compile time error because the variable i is declared with a value 10 locally with a external keyword its property is if we declare any variable as external variable then it searches that variable either it has been initialized or not in this program we have an external variable and this variable will search for the variable i's value and which is found here that is int i equal to 20 so this printf statement will print the value as 20 we will compile this program there is no error and the output of this program is 20 a external variable can be declared many times but we can initialize it only one time in this example program the external variable i has been declared three times whereas it has been initialized only one time so this printf statement will give an output as 25 because for this statement it will start searching for the value for the variable i which is found here so it will print the value as 25 there is no compilation error in this program and it will give an output as 25 what is we cannot write any assignment statement globally here the variable i has been declared with external keyword globally and the value 10 has been initialized globally to an integer variable i and this assignment statement i equal to 25 will end up with a compile time error because the assignment should not be done globally it can be done only locally thank you